Black History Month on Voice of America, remembering pioneers who paved the way for a better, safer future. Mary McLeod Bethune, a fearless educator, champion for women and racial equality, and in her day, arguably the most powerful African American in the country. Mary McLeod was one of 17 children born to former slaves in South Carolina in the southeastern region of the United States, where she quickly learned that the key to a better life for black people was education. After graduating high school, she wanted to be a Christian missionary in Africa. Denied the opportunity to go because of her race and seeing a critical need to educate descendants of American slaves, she married and began to teach school. Teaching reinforced Bethune's desire to improve lives through education, and in 1904, with $1.50 and a dream, Mary McLeod Bethune began a small school in Florida. Under Bethune's direction, that six-student school blossomed into the fully accredited Bethune-Cookman University. Bethune's fierce leadership and drive launched her onto the national scene. First, in leading the National Association of Colored Women's Clubs, then by founding the National Council of Negro Women. In 1936, Bethune became the first African-American head of a federal agency when she was appointed the director of the Office of Negro Affairs in the National Youth Administration. Bethune was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame in 1973, and her legacy is also honored in the form of a statue in Washington, D.C. Bethune is the first African American and the first woman to be recognized in this way. A courageous pioneer, social visionary, and a U.S. matriarch, Mary McLeod Bethune.